Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Avery's El Goza, a German-style sour ale with lime and sea salt added. This is similar to what I had in the previous review, which was the um, Nola, to, uh, the Abita to Goza. Sorry, Abita. I didn't like it because um, I don't like Gozas really. I mean, salt in beer and lime in beer and any kind of flavor in beer, honestly, I really don't like it. I can tolerate the chocolate. So I wanted to be fair with that one. I gave it an A minus. Now you might say, yeah, but you hated it. Yeah, but I knew that before I cracked open the bottle, okay? A traditional, a timeless traditional tart Goza. Blah, blah, blah. You can read it on the website. Rocky Mount water, malted wheat, malted barley, lime, sea salt, hops, and yeast. Okay. Uh, Avery from Boulder, Colorado. They're starting to show up more and more in this area. They use acidulated malt, two row, and wheat malt. The hops are sterling hops. Lime and sea salt added. Introduced 2016. Uh, I assume there's some video reviews. I didn't even bother checking. <clears throat> I figure. <clears throat> I figure with a company like. Uh, Avery, much bigger company, you probably see the reviews. I didn't. I, I did the first one for Beta. It gets a good score on Beer Advocate, 82. So, kind of like more like an a, a B minus, really. Rape Beer, of course, they hate it. 56 out of 100, and a 37 out of 100 for the style. So they're saying it's a bad beer, and in the style, in the style, it's really bad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Doki. Druid City, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Thank you, my daughter. Some smoke here. So, I'm not expecting to like this any more than the Abita version, the Tugosa, but um, perhaps it won't be as salty. That thing was like a salty version of uh, Gatorade. Hoo wee! A lot more bubble action. Uh, but that one, I, uh, you know, it was fine. I know, I know people that would just love that salty product. This is a spongy head. It's sunny out here. It's going to be hot today in the 90s. It's cloudy. I see. Now, you see now, the, in the Abita, they didn't have these big tan chunks, grayish tan chunks. This thing is chunked afide. It has fierce bubble streams. So if I do a swish and pour, I'm almost guaranteeing it's going to just have a cloud of gunk. The, B, the Abita did have that. But it wasn't, there were no chunks. <laughs> this is, this has similarities to those, uh, those chiladas, okay, because of the salt and the way it fizzes away. You know, those are tomato based, all right, like the Budweiser Clamato chilada. But they're similar, in some ways, they're more similar than different. It's, um, they're, they're odd concoctions, but they're very popular. So you get that strange salty malt beverage aroma like you get with those chiladas, micheladas. This is not as spicy as the abita, though. The abita had a lot more spice character. This really, you no. Know, and some lime. Yeah, much less salty. The other one gave me the, the willies. I was like, mm, bing, go, no, mm. this one is just like, eh, it's a little salty. It's quite limey. The body is a little heavier and fuller, though, than with Gatorade. Okay, so it's like a fluffy body. Mostly dry finish. But, um, yeah, the, the beat up was much more like Gatorade, actually, just saltier. This one is more like, um, almost like a lime juice or something. It's tart, more tart too. That one really wasn't too tart. I don't know. I guess they both have their positive attributes, you see. I can't, I don't know if this one's better. It's more better, yeah. 
it's more bad it's more better for me because of the lack of the saltiness but um, other people might prefer that because of the but boy these things fizz right away huh golly gee it almost smells like the egg clam broth though it is odd I think you could marinate stuff in this one though also be a much different item it almost tastes like coconut in there too it is somewhat like a key lime pie <laughs> with shaved coconut do I like it I don't like these kind of beers to start with okay I've said that before I can't even bring myself to do the regular flavored beers anymore like the Red's Apple Ale they're fine I mean there's nothing wrong with them people love them I don't dislike them it's in the sense that like they're poorly made or anything I just dislike them in the sense of disliking flavored beer you know what I'm saying you get the point so if I had a choice between any flavored beer and natural ice I mean I'm gonna drink natural ice <laughs> um, well I guess if it was Samuel Smith's organic chocolate stout or the canned nitro can of uh, the um, Wells Du Young's double chocolate stout well okay I'll pick those but I wouldn't pick them regularly right I'll still pick natural ice regularly because it's more pleasant for a regular everyday standby beer um, well you know it's better than Bud Light Lime but that's not saying much with its high fructose corn syrup aspects I'm gonna say it's right in there It's almost like some stomach acid, like you kind of <clears throat> have the, um, what they call it, acid reflux problem people have. So uh, that might be what you're looking for. So I'm going to say A minus. I mean, it's at the lower end of excellent, but still in the excellent range. And these are hard to review. It's hard to review something you can't stand, <laughs> but it is a quality product. So, Lazy Lay Bon Ton Relay. An excellent beer for you, not me, but for you, probably, maybe, perhaps. And I'm, I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>